Carbon sequestration is the long-term isolation of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through physical, chemical, biological, or engineered processes. While the Earth has a natural carbon cycle, human activity inhibits the natural cycle both by adding CO2 to the atmosphere and by preventing natural systems, such as forests that take up carbon dioxide, from removing CO2. This imbalance leads to excess CO2 in the atmosphere. To understand the process of carbon sequestration, we need to understand the sources and sinks of the carbon cycle. A source is any process that releases carbon dioxide into our system. Common sources include the burning of fossil fuels, human respiration, and the respiration of other biological animals and materials, and combustion. A sink is any process that removes carbon dioxide from our system. One common sink is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis naturally takes in carbon dioxide and releases oxygen. This is why forests are so important to our planet and the carbon cycle. It is important to note that the major sources of CO2 are primarily unnatural by human origin, while the major sinks occur mostly by natural processes. When CO2 naturally dissolves into seawater, many chemical reactions occur. The CO2 goes through many different forms, with its final form being carbonic acid. This means that too much CO2 in the atmosphere causes more to be absorbed by the ocean. As more is absorbed, and more carbonic acid is created, the acidity of the ocean increases. Increased acidity can do much to harm marine life, such as shellfish, whose hard shells are more prone to dissolve in the more acidic water and the ever-important reefs whose growth rate is threatened by the increased ocean acidity. In fact, the ocean covers about 70% of the planet and is the largest natural carbon sink. It already absorbs most of the carbon emitted into the atmosphere, which is why the oceans are put at risk by CO2 emissions. So how can we encourage it to do even more than that without contributing to ocean acidity? We need to focus on its other sink, photosynthesis. Similar to planting trees in the forest, we can optimize oceanic sequestration by encouraging oceanic plant growth. Adding iron to areas rich in nutrients, but poor in phytoplankton may allow them to bloom. Phytoplankton carbonate sediment. By allowing photosynthetic organisms to simply do their job, we can reduce the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere and make use of the ocean's 70% contribution to the Earth's surface.